What up, guys? We're back. Back at it again with another vlog. Yay! A super, a super vlog. Just wait. Super Walker Adventure. No, no, no. A super vlog. Super, super duper vlog. How you doing, babe? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm, I'm driving in unfamiliar shoes. So, I'm wearing my, I got to wear my ultras. Hey! <laughs> and I have, I have new trekking poles. I'm excited. We didn't bring them, though. No, because, I mean, we're not going to need them for this trip. But for the Trans Catalina, we're we're all gonna need trekking poles. Not me though, cause that's yes. how I roll. Yeah, you're gonna need them. Um, um, trekking poles will protect your knees. The naked alien and Jonathan is in the back somewhere, buried. Cause they don't wanna they don't wanna vlog with us. Yeah, they're, hi, they're hiding. Hi. Uh, there you go. <laughs> they popped out. The moles have popped out. <laughs> Okay. Um, we got what? Well, how long? We got two hours and twenty-one minutes till, till we, we get, get to Walmart, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then another what, another like hour before we get to the campsite. Yeah. So we'll keep you guys updated. Yep. Oh, we should probably tell them what we're doing. We're going camping. Oh, we didn't say that. No, we didn't. How many people are going to Walmart going camping? Yeah. Walmart is the second greatest place on earth. Is it? Yeah. Is it though? All good is better. Yeah. Target is not better, but you're tough. <laughs> All right. What's the greatest place on earth? Uh, <laughs> home. 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 Watch Where you lay your hat. Home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll keep you guys in 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 the loop. Yep, we're oh we're doing Havila Pines this time. Oh, we might as well stay. We there. are we are vlogging in Havila Pines, and you get to see us camping. Keep left to stay on I two ten West. Hi. Yep. So, shut up, fake series. We're gonna give away our location. Yeah. <laughs> guys we finally made it to camp after what like five hours, hours. <laughs> finally made it uh, this is the campsite we went down a scary this, dirt road look at this beautiful <laughs> beautiful creature it's not uh it's not too bad got a nice little fire pit we'll set up our chairs over here Yep, John's over there setting up. David's over there setting up. And we are about to set up right here. We're setting up the monstrosity. Yes. All right, ready? I'm ready. All right. We're gonna be so hard, but it'll be worth it when we lay down. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, nation of walkers. We find ourselves in a little, you know, uh, a little bit of a pickle. You can say Would that you? again. Yeah. We are without fire. Yeah, we didn't bring matches or a lighter, so. I didn't realize our new propane stove would require us to have a spark. Yeah, I don't know what we were thinking. <laughs> but, you know, we we set up camp. You know, there's David's tent. This is ours. And you got John's. So, we're here. We're here. We're doing the damn thing. Yeah. yeah John's over there. I'm about to test my bushcraft skills. Yeah, so 
I know I promised a super vlog. <laughs> Might be a super failure. <laughs> unless, unless, unless I get, I get these, uh, I'm able to start a fire using the bow drill technique, which I saw a YouTube about it one time. But if I do it, I'll be queen of the woods. Yeah, I mean, luckily she packed sandwiches. She pre-made sandwiches for us all so we can eat the sandwiches tonight and then tomorrow I mean probably go home because it's a long way down that hill for like an hour unless unless I make fire we'll probably be going home if I make fire we'll probably be going home so it is what it is Look, if I make fire, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, my wife is like the master of the craft of bush, and we will go home. We're going home tomorrow. No, we'll go home when we planned on it, because if I make fire, this will be awesome. Yeah, it would be awesome. And uh, other news, I almost sliced my finger off, literally. Luckily, we had a uh, we had the first aid kit. What we did is we oh, is used the sanitizing wipes, and then I cleaned off. We cleaned off his wound, and I applied Neosporin to it and a band aid. Yep, she's also a doctor. <laughs> but yeah, um, if she didn't make those sandwiches, we'd be really screwed. We probably have to go home tonight. I'm not going down that hill in the dark. So it got me all extra messed up. Yeah. So if we if we start fire, we will let you know. Other than that, we'll be coming back to you. We should make a video the next of day. Attempting to start a fire. We're coming back to you the next day on our way home. Super vlog. All right, what do we got going on here? Um, we are out of lighter, and I saw somebody do a uh, bow drill technique on YouTube once upon a time so I've created I pulled this out the fireplace from the previous camper and then I scraped it down to the dry to the dry wood underneath with some of the little carbon burnt carbon here but you can see some of the dry wood underneath there's a little divot right here and then I'm trying to make like a little hole to hold the stick so what's going to happen is hopefully I get the stick to stay, right? I get one of these tumbleweeds and some of that dry leaf right here. You see this tumbleweed right here? I'm going to set it up right here under like I'm on, under the dry, like around the stick with the dry leaves. Then I'm going to take it like this and then we're going to find the right stick and my shoelace and then we're going to do the bow drill technique to try and start a fire okay it could work we'll see it'd be my first one but if i do it i am the queen of the woods <laughs> we got john over here Hello. he's he's trying to start a fire yeah yeah i'm just helping yeah, okay. i'm helping yeah, it'd be a good it'd be a good time for you to be a part of the Fire Nation. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going, John? Uh, we're going. Uh, we're going up the hills. And one up the hill, and that yeah. down there is where we came from. All right, John, I think we should stop. There's some pe people live up here. Come on. 
Go. Be careful. <laughs> He's a goof. All right. We mm -hmm. have just about cleaned up camp. Got a few more items over there. I did not make fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell us about your fire experience. Well, I mean, I got the divots just right. I had a hard time getting the right sticks. The, like, I had the right, I had the right three sticks. It was the bow drill itself that I couldn't get right. I needed a, lot of a different them. type of, I, I needed a different type of stick. I don't know. The bow drill wasn't right. It kept getting caught on the shoelaces, getting stuck on. And then where I would lubricate the two sticks and get it to go, after a while, when I put the, the tinder, the stuff that was supposed to light in it, into the hole, it would just stop moving altogether. <laughs> yeah. David, how was this camping trip for you? Six out of ten. And? The roads are annoying. And or a bunch of roosters that kept me up all night. They're right over there. Looking at me. <laughs> John? He's mad because he can't figure out his tent. See, John figured out his tent. John was packed up in ten minutes. Yeah, John finished really early. <laughs> hey, John. How was your camp trip? Uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, but it's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. What did you like See? about this camping trip? Mm. Uh, I learned... Oh, wait. Is, did you say what I learned from it? What did you like about it? Uh, I like that I I can walk around and I and I can uh, and I did my tent yeah I did my tent with no help yep now he's oh. now he's helping his big brother with his tent that yeah, guy over there kind of I think thing. that's kind of him watching, mm -hmm. watching him that guy right yeah, I think it's kind of there I think well, I'm not a camping either. person I think it's yeah. <laughs> For me, it was it was fine. You know, I wish we would have brought the necessary tools that we needed. But it was okay. You guys owe us. It was an experience. Cause you said this would be three days long. It was only half a day long. Yeah. Okay. It was a full day, we... David. You chose to sleep through it, which is not our problem. You guys owe us some breakfast. Some video game fights. A PC f that's cost five thousand uh, dollars. I'm just kidding. Better get a five thousand dollar job. Go home now. All right. Check this out. There's David, angry. John's over there. Happy as a clam in this little tent. <laughs> yeah, we. I know. I know. We said we're packing up and getting out of here, but. They lie. Things have changed. They lie. So, there's a guy up there. He came down to check on us, see if we were okay. And he asked us why we were leaving. I said, well, you know, we don't have a lighter. <laughs> we don't have anywhere to cook our food. And he was like, what? That's crazy. I'll give you a lighter. Anything you need, just ask. Said, don't leave because of a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you'll go home and feel like you failed. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I didn't have to go home for that. Yeah, so now we got steaks cooking. Here that sizzle. Cooking. We didn't break out the monstrosity again. Here that sizzle. That must be Woo! All right. Delicious, it's going down now. Now it's a camping trip. Oh, What's up, John? Oh, hi, guys. It's me, and I need to tell you. 
that I'm doing an animation thing later yeah. after camp. Okay, John just plugged his animation. Plug, 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 plug. Yeah. All right. Here's David. Here's David. You gotta say for yourself. One, how would you feel if you're ready to leave and you just get strapped back in when you're already done putting a bunch of hard work into the car? Second, why do we have to stay? There's nothing fun to do. They lied to me because they said we were going to be playing board games, having fun, and doing stuff. What are we doing right now? Sitting down and doing nothing. Three, we have to put this tent back up and... You know how hard it is to put tents away? Like you have to stuff it in a bag in this one type of way or else That's it's not enough. Babe. Babe. Mm. You okay? Mm -hmm. The fly jumped on my hand. I felt it and I moved it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So I was wondering. What you got, John? Uh, once it's sunset and it's so cool, maybe we all can take it. I thought he was going to say nap. I was all about that nap. <laughs> no, nah, no naps today. Naps are awesome. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about we all can play. So, the boys had three days worth of snacks that I packed and my mom packed too. But one of them, or both, ate three days worth of snacks in one day. And now they're arguing over who ate the snacks. So, If, if you had to guess who ate the snacks. John. John. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Wait, it's not getting you. Me. There you go. It wasn't actually me. Who was it? I'm not gonna say any names, I'm just gonna point. <laughs> he ate two bags of Kale Nutra chips, one bag of one bucket of Pringles, or whatever you call the container that they come in. Like six cookies and a whole entire bag of cheesy bacon chips. Okay? That leaving me with one bag of cheesy bacon chips, one Pringles, and that's it. That's and you, it. And you ate those, didn't you? Yes, I did. Uh, can because I tell you that the was food? one day worth of snacks. And how many snacks do you two have left? Thanks to John Zero. What? Oh, can I tell you the whole truth? Can I tell you the whole truth? What's the truth? So help you God. So, so he actually ate two Pringles and one Camel two chips and. And some bacon for me. I don't know about. Yeah, and I had I had kombucha chips and some and some cookies. That's right. Nah. Okay. Here's what was in the bag: two Pringles, two bacon cheese bites. They ate all their chips. There was three kombucha chips. They ate. Oh, that's it's nice. six cookies! Period. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Period. 
it, it comes down it comes down to they ate all their snacks they are out of snacks they want to eat our snacks you know what we brought one can of Pringles honey mustard and one can of salt and vinegar that's it that's and you it. know that that can those two cans have lasted two days so far <laughs> two days versus the their big bag of three day snacks you have to say for yourselves. John is now my least favorite sibling. Who's your first? Carmen. Carmen. Okay. She'd be delighted to hear that. Oh, yeah, she would. We have made fire. By accident. <laughs> How to... How do we make that fire by accident? So we put the chim the charcoal chimney that I was discussing Wait. earlier. So we'll, we'll focus on you. There you go. <laughs> so after we set up the charcoal chimney that we we're talking about earlier, we set it in the fire pit. Well, the fire pit had some trash in it that you know I was intent on burning at a later date. And I set the chimney next to it. However, the chimney got very hot and lit the trash and the remaining wood there on fire. So now we have fire. And we're enjoying the fire. Mm -hmm. You know, unexpected things happen. It was in the fire pit for safety purposes. So now we're just ignoring, uh, ignoring, enjoying the fire. But, you know, from this distance, because it's hot out here. <laughs> yeah. We're way back here. Next to the John's hose. over there. In, ca in case, you know, anything goes down. The hose is up here. We can spray it with hose. <laughs> for safety purposes. Yep. Oh. Y'all speak up. Oh, wait. Did we take did we took the picture of the spray thingy? Yeah, we did already. Okay. About the spring, the screen. Yep. All right, it's about that time. Dinner time. Open the boys up some burgers. Burger, burgers for the boys. My burger master. Yep. The burger master. I think I'll kiss the chef. What do you think? Yes. Mr. Chef. Yes. Go in your head. Alright, this right here is the uh, grill we're going to use. We're going to also grill up some burgers. Over the charcoal. Over the charcoal. We got the chimney starter over here. It's smoking. We just have to wait until those coals get white. Then we throw them in there. I love Grill master. I love the chimney, the chimney fire starter for this because what it is is you put paper and like trash, you generate trash a lot and it's like we end up having to pack out a lot of trash. Instead, I stuff it in the bottom of the charcoal starter and instead of using charcoal fluid, which sometimes changes the flavor of the food, I stuff the bottom of the of the chimney right and you spark it you so i'll put papers cardboard trash napkins and then i'll spark it and then the fire will start the charcoal and i guess with all the holes and stuff it's designed for like the air to blow on it and light the charcoal charcoal um like brick briquettes or whatever without you know without needing you needing to hit it with that charcoal fluid so I mean it's cool we're you know we're doing we're doing something else with our trash it's not going to trash isn't going to a landfill which is dope um, honestly like I don't know much about like re reducing pollution and stuff so I mean I know burning your trash creates like pollution but then it prevents it from ending up in the landfill, so I guess that's okay. 
I don't know. But we also got the propane grill going, so there's that. I know, I know that's like green and environmentally safe. But out here when we're camping, it's all about that leave no trace. So when we get through, there'll be zero evidence that we were even here. It'll look like we've never even been here. Oh, and today I used a composting toilet. That was both weird and okay. Like, I was okay with it. You know, um, I took the bug spray to, to hit the little bugs that were in the little green pop-up bathroom tent. And then it was like a five-gallon bucket with a toilet seat, right? And then it had um, ga a garbage bag. It was lined with a garbage bag. And then there was a whole bucket of like dirt, mulch, and leaves. So, and a scooper. So what you do is you scoop the mulch and the leaves and stuff into the bucket with that's lined with the bag. And then you do your business in it. And then like you take the mulch and the leaves and then you you uh, put, put it in the bucket and cover up your business and then I thought I thought that whole tent was gonna smell like shit but I walked in there and I've now gone in it John's gone in it and there is no trace no smell no nothing so I mean compo composting toilets who knew let's see what's going on with uh, dinner look at the chef isn't he handsome he's so sexy Burgers for the boys. How is it? Good. Take a bite. Get in there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so, so, I got the chicken apple sausage going on, coffee's done, I got little smokies, and we got a weenie roast, so, I would call breakfast an unmitigated success. Peace out. What do you think, babe? Breakfast, unmitigated success? Yeah. How you guys doing? Boys? Oh, this is uh the David log. So this is his third complaint of the morning. It's uh eight thirty seven. We'll keep you posted. John, what about you? Oh it's good. That's good. All right. That's David drinking his first water of the day. Right now, we're about to be done with the camping trip, but we're we're doing like two bottles of water a day, uh, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So, wish us luck. If you can't stick to that, we're going to be drinking out the hose, y'all. <laughs>